Hi, I'm John Sullivan with 401k Specialist. I'm joined by Ryan Mullen from MFS Investments in Boston, and he's Senior Managing Director. We were talking a little bit about target date funds, of course, and what they need to look out for investors and advisors uh, in the DC plans that they advise on. So with that, you know, what specifically are you seeing in that space? Sure, John. Um, thanks for the opportunity. I guess the biggest thing we're seeing is this focus on short-termism with sure. target dates. Um, you know, one of the things that's interesting is that not all target dates have been around for 10 years, right? right? right. So if you think about it, if you're investing in a target date strategy that has been around for less than 10 years, you didn't see the other side of the global financial crisis. Yeah, right. So we're just encouraging people to think longer term prior to making their investment decisions and make sure that they're aligning themselves with a manager that's been you know, managing assets through both sides of that cycle. That's amazing, though. I mean, even with everything, you know, behavioral economics, Daniel Kahneman, all of this stuff that we've been hearing so much about almost ad nauseum, they're still, you know, they, they're falling victim to short-termism, as you said. Yeah, I think it, uh, to some degree, is kind of that herd mentality. Uh, as you know, and, and all of us are aware, the markets have continued to do well, and we're coming uh, into a, a market cycle where you're seeing a bull market extend into eight years. Sure. And so it, it's uh, it's really challenging at times to yeah. be looking in the rearview mirror and just making sure that you're being um, cautious and, and certainly managing risk and looking under the hood um, for periods of how a manager did in volatility. And that's what I'm wondering, what specifically should they be looking for, some of the things? Yeah, I think uh, looking under the hood to us really means looking at, number one, your diversification. Mm -hmm. Uh, for example, open up the hood and, and look at that fixed income diversification. Right. Okay. What's All target actually dates, in there? Yeah, yeah what's yeah. in there? All target dates have fixed income allocation, yeah. but are they truly leveraging various asset classes? Right. Are they looking overseas at emerging market debts? Are they adding in high yields and high yield corporates? Um, are they looking at the various asset classes to make sure that they're uh, managing duration, managing the credit quality, things like that, for example? And that's just looking uh, through the lens of fixed income as one example. How are you handling the whole active versus passive debate? Um, well, certainly I think it gets, it gets down to that topic we were talking about a second ago yeah. where you've seen the passive strategies do well. We believe uh, a core portfolio should have both active and passive sure. in it. Yeah, it's not an either or. Yeah. It's not an either or. However, we are seeing you know, many start to lean too far potentially towards passive as that has been the strategy that has done well as of late, right. potentially you're, you're building in more risk into a portfolio than you're aware of. So for us, it's, it's talking to our clients about making sure that they are paying really close attention to risk management, make sure they understand what they own, and prepare and protect their clients for that inevitable period when markets do pull back. Perfect, that's exactly what we needed. Ryan, thanks so much for joining right. us, do appreciate you it. You bet, John, good to see you. Thank you.